Mesa sent me a prototype of the TC100 a few years back, and I had been kind of waiting for the release of this amp because I wasn't allowed to really say anything about the amp or what was in my rig at the time. It blew me away. I, I couldn't believe that this was the new amp that was coming out from Mesa. While it is incredibly versatile, it's so streamlined and, and easy to use. You, you can play anything on this thing. And the real cool thing about the TC series is each channel has its own separate tight or normal. The tight mode just kind of tightens up the bottom end and it adds a little bit more clarity to the top end. And particularly with what I do and how technical some Lamb of God riffs can be, it's really important to me for that articulation and clarity to come through and not get swallowed up by extra gain and saturation. On the TC100, I run strictly on channel three. I'm a metal dude and that's the high gain channel. Just being able to play with that saturation, I'm also afforded the ability to have those notes and, and attack just scream through and not get lost in any kind of muddiness. One of the major differences between the TC50 and the TC100 is the multi-soak attenuator, which tonally you can dial back the wattage delivered to the amp, but it's post power staging. So you still have those tubes being pushed. So you're not sacrificing any of the tone for volume. You, you don't have to worry about causing your eardrums to burst, but you're still pushing those tubes. So you still have that just hot rod tone that's, that's super great. In a live setting, it, it makes for a much more comfortable atmosphere. Beyond the, the, the gain structure that's within the amp already, I'm running an additional grid slammer and the five band EQ, just for a little bit of extra crunch, a little bit more, you know, insane heat on there. Uh, beyond great heads, Mesa makes great pedals, so why not complement the head with a couple awesome pedals? It's a dream come true. I mean, this is the amp I've been looking for my entire career. And I knew that when I got the prototype and I plugged it in. It was almost immediate. It's still the A amp in my rig.